To solve this equation using the zero factor property, step one, you want to look at the back end term. If it's a positive, that means the signs are going to be the same. The middle term will tell you what type of signs, so that's two negative. Now that we've discovered that, the next thing we're going to do is look at the back end number to uh, get factors of 36. So here are the possibilities of how you can get 36. And so notice that both terms are negative. So which one of those, when you multiply them, is going to equal your last term of 36? And when you add it, it's going to equal your middle term of negative 13x. So as you can guess, yes, it is the last option, which is a negative 4 and a negative 9. So let's go ahead and factor it now. Next step is to set each factor equal to 0 and solve for x. So as we can see, we would add 4 and add 9, and x equals 4 and 9. 